Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood Beanie Boo collector, Hasa, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Beanie Boo's Ultimate Collector's Guide. This is a book that Ty released, and it's basically like a Beanie Boo handbook for collectors. It just has a bunch of fun facts and stats about Beanie Boos in it, and it's kind of controversial in the Beanie Boo community, which I'm going to get into later on in the video. And if you're wondering, I got this book at Fred Meyer, and it was $10. But yeah, let's get right into the review. So here here is the front cover, it has Ty's logo on it, and it just says Beanie Boos Ultimate Collector's Guide. Silly stats and fun facts on over 300 Beanie Boos, and then there's a bunch of different pictures of Beanie Boos, and it says poster inside, and scholastic. And you flip open, and then there's this super cute picture. I gotta say, I love the design of this book so far, everything is just adorable and so well done. And then there's the table of contents, and the size page, basically it just says that there's regular, medium, large, and extra large, and clip sizes for Beanie Boos, and then just a blurb about what Beanie Boos are and what the book is about. And then this page says the world of Beanie Boos, and it basically tells you like all the different habitats where Beanie Boos can live. Like there's the fantastical forest, the awesome arctic, the jazzy jungle, the outrageous ocean, the mystic mountains, the marvelous metropolis, and more. Gosh, I love this so much. This picture is so cute. Turn the page for awesome fun. Meet the Beanie Boos one by one. That that rhymed. So then you get into the actual like Beanie Boo part of the book. All of these Beanie Boos have like a page that tells you all about them. Like up here it says the Beanie Boo's name which for this one it's Alpine. And in the heart it tells you like all the sizes that that Beanie Boo is sold in. So like Alpine is sold in regular and medium which I think is really helpful because like typically I don't really remember like which Beanie Boos are sold in which sizes so this is really nice. And then it tells you their habitat so the awesome arctic. Then the animal they are so reindeer and it has like a little description this one says this adorable little reindeer lives way up north above the arctic circle he loves to romp in the snow and his biggest dream is to join santa's sleigh team and then it says personality is spunky <laughs> favorite food or drink hot cocoa loves fresh fallen snow secret talent building snowball castles favorite color winter white favorite holiday christmas well that's kind of obvious <laughs> and then it just says the beanie boos poem and their birthday that is like on their tag and then there's a really big picture of the beanie boo and what i think is really cool about alpine's thing is that it has second edition alpine at the bottom and it says alpine has a festive holiday look too that's just great that they included the second edition too and like each beanie boo has different stuff like some beanie boos it says their hobby and like their deepest secret secret or their motto or favorite rhyme like a lot of these are different which i think is really fun oh my god let's find slick's thing where is it where is it i like that it's alphabetized too because you can kind of find like the specific beanie boo that you want to find faster oh here's slick here's slick's page in all of its glory and the book also comes with a poster it's in the very back and it folds out and you can see it's just like a huge checklist of beanie boos there are so many pictures on it i've got to hang it up somewhere because like look at this it is just so cute it doesn't have all of the beanie boos on it but it does have a bunch and i think it's really nice that they included it in the book you're like supposed to tear it out and put it on your wall so yeah but yeah the book is basically just full of a bunch of fun facts about beanie boos and it's super entertaining to just flip through and read some of this stuff so i am going to show you guys some of my favorite fun facts that i found in the book tracy's favorite food is pup tarts oh my god the puns in this book are great pugsley loves hugs in capital letters asks his parents can i have a hug asks his friends want a hug asks his classmates who's ready for a group hug someone give poor pugsley a hug jeez man Kipper loves playing with her baby, and you get to know the baby's name, it's Joey. Kiki's favorite magazine is Glamour Cat. Ghoulie's hobby is boo beatboxing. His motto is, it's cool to be a ghoul. Brutus's favorite hobby is reading Shakespeare. It's definitely not mine. I have to read Shakespeare for school and it's not fun, guys. Not fun. Fetch has a secret, guys. He has 10 special frisbees that he can't fall asleep without. He counts them all before bedtime to make sure they're there. That sounds kind of obsessive, Fetch. You need help. Feathers loves running in circles. Same. Boom Boom is the lead drummer in the hit Beanie Boo band, Bear Tracks. And her most favorite song is Boom Boom Kapow. Skylar's dream is to meet Master Chef Gordon Ramsay. What are you? 
An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich, Chef Ramsay. So now that you guys have seen the book, let's talk about why a lot of Beanie Boo collectors don't like the Beanie Boo collector's guide. The first reason is that they actually messed up and they used pictures of fake Beanie Boos instead of the real Beanie Boos on some of them. Here's what Corky looks like and then here's the picture that they used of Corky in the book. Corky has blue eyes for some reason and I know that this is a picture of a fake Beanie Boo because I've seen it online before. The next mistake that they made that I think is kind of worse is Nacho. Here's Nacho, he has pink eyes and then here's fake Nacho, he has green eyes and for some reason Reason, the white part of his stomach has disappeared. So yeah, I think it's kind of funny to be honest, but like, Ty! Uh -huh. <laughs> Another con is that it's incomplete. It doesn't have all of the Beanie Boos in it. I'm not talking about Beanie Boos that came out recently, because this book came out in 2018. I'm talking about a bunch of Beanie Boos that came out before 2018 that are missing from this book. It's missing a lot. Like some of the ones that I couldn't find on here were Athena, Bella, Iris, Boris, Orson, both Bubblegums, the Country Bears, and more. Since it's the Beanie Boo Collector's Guide, you would kind of expect it to have all of the Beanie Boos in it, so it kind of sucks that it's incomplete. And then this isn't really a con, but if you didn't know, Beanie Boo genders are a pretty controversial topic in the Beanie Boo community. Lots of people have made videos talking about it before, but basically some people think that because in this book it basically says she or he for each Beanie Boo, that means that the Beanie Boo's gender is set in stone and everybody needs to use that one. I should know, because I get literally so many comments of people being like, Hawsaw Slick is a boy. It says so in the Beanie Boo Collector's Guide. Personally, I think it doesn't really matter that much. I think you should just pick out what gender you want your Beanie Boo to be. I don't think you have to use the one listed in this book. Like, for example, I think most people make their Kiwi and Kookies boys, but in this book, they're girls. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys think. So now that I've told you guys about all of the pros and cons of the book, it's time to answer the question, is the Beanie Boo Collector's Guide worth it? And honestly, it depends. If you just want a fun read to learn some like silly fun facts about Beanie Boos, then yeah, I would say it's worth it. I really liked that it came with the poster and I thought it was really entertaining to read. But if you're gonna use it as like a super serious like Beanie Boo checklist, then I wouldn't recommend you get it because it doesn't have all the Beanie Boos in it. I don't regret my purchase, I think that the $10 was worth it and I really enjoyed the book. I would rate this book 7 out of 10 slicks. <laughs> So yeah guys, that is my review of the Beanie Boo Collector's Guide. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments down below what you think of the book or if you have it. Please comment, subscribe, and bye!